You were told you couldn't be in broadcasting, but you did it anyway. Who gave you your first shot? My first shot came from, there was two mentors in my life, two male editors. One was a white editor. He was from a grammar school and one was an editor from Windrush. And they both saw this 16 year old girl and thought, yep, she's got some talent there. And they gave me my first break. My first break ironically came from a newspaper in London called the Caribbean Times. And I was 16 at the time and I wrote a comic strip and it was a comic strip about a young teenage girl. And it was very empowering. It was about her journey as a teenage girl and, and the ups and downs of being a teenager and what she went through and everything. And I was supposed to do that for two weeks, but it was so popular, the comic strip, which I drew as well as carried out the storyline. I became the Northern journalist for that newspaper. But back in Yorkshire, another journalist, an editor, gave me a chance to write for their teenage page as well. So those two individuals, those two men, gave me my first break at 16. They saw something in me, but I was later to find out, just before the pandemic, that the first editor in Yorkshire said, when he saw me at 16, I had actually had a briefcase <laughs> because I thought that's what journalists had. So I went to, to see him with a briefcase <laughs> and um, a plastic bag with my sandwiches in. And he looked at me and thought, yes, she's going to be a journalist. And he coached me and he really believed in me. And it really touched me that he looked at my 16 year old self and thought, I know she's going wow. to be someone. Really wow. touched my heart. 